I got, I got some, I got some food on the way, so you know. You got food? I got, I got to I got to take care of that. I take care of the tummy. Yo, bro, let me get some of that food. Um. So anyway, my man, <laughs> Jewel versus Milk. <laughs> yeah, All right, Mister Leche out is, here. Is this? What is he? Yo, Milk. I mess with the song, dude. Yeah, this this song is definitely. <laughs> this song is really good. I don't want to watch the set. <laughs> Yo, to be honest, I feel like after that match with Frozen, he's just like, yo, you know what? I'm done. If I got to chill, I'm chilling, dude. I'm not rushing anything. Yeah, this does I, I, I don't, it doesn't even feel like fighting music right now. Nah, I, I feel like I should be playing, like, Dr. Mario's Tetris on, like, the NES right now or something. Yeah, that would be pretty hard. Oh. Yo, money match? Um, I'm yeah, nice. But, yeah, but right now, um, it seems like Milk <laughs> is in control of this game a little bit. A little bit. A little bit? Okay. So, so Jewel is very aggressive coming off the ledge. Um, he does a lot of those uh, momentum mix-ups. For sure. Sometimes he'll, he'll throw in a, a, a arc fire here. Yeah, love and sword. You know what I'm saying? Finish a tome here. Have a drop on your head. Follow up with an up air. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Ooh. Okay. Missing the ledge with the arc fire. Yeah, the love sword is dangerous and it's safe on ship. Yes. I have to ignore the book and say, you know what? Let me just focus on this edge guard right now. Okay, just slap. <laughs> yo, let me say, yo, back up, please. <laughs> slap his way off the ledge. You are in my personal space, dude. Okay. I have to be right back. Okay. Oh, yeah. right. Uh, so right now, got, he got hit with the Nosferatu. We're gaining a lot of that percent. Oh, and that down air. Okay, and he, he got back to stage cleanly, like, not even, not even a problem. Momentum kind of shifting, shifting after he got that Nosferatu. The thing about Robin is, even though Robin does not have the checkmate confirms anymore, Robin can still hit confirm into a lot of crazy damage potential. So, especially with the Lemon Sword. Lemon sword. Because right now, it, it's, it's a little tough for Milk trying to get in with all this Levin Sword pressure. And now he's missing the Nosferatu because Milk wants to turtle up a little bit with the shield, the shield attack. So. Yeah, and it's just getting tough right now. Just Milk is just trying to find any hit right now. Any hit to get him a little bit of momentum. And now, oh, okay. He definitely wanted that. Definitely wanted that bike to stay on the ledge. Um, it's not a trade um, Milk really wanted, but trade nonetheless. So right now, Jewel is still in the lead. And he, the way Jewel is spacing around Warrior with with uh, his Levin Sword play is yeah, pretty nice. Because every time he doesn't have the Levin Sword on on tap, he's playing keep away from Milk. Now that the Levin Sword is back online, you can play the game again. You know, some pretty, you know, pretty good stuff coming from um, Jewel. Ooh. And I feel like Milk tried to read a get up attack or some type of offensive option with the Waft because the Waft does have super armor. So right now, playing, playing more keep away until the Levin Sword comes back. Okay, and now Levin Sword is back, it's time to play the game again. That was great SDI coming out of the middle. Because if he did not SDI, he would have got hit with up smash and potentially died. Okay. Yeah, and, then four, and the forward tilt coming out from Milk is reading that jump in by Jewel. Okay, forward throw off ledge. Arc Thunder does have less hit stun, so you can't really confirm anything, so you could in um, Smash 4. But in place of that, you have Arc Thunder. I mean, excuse me, um, Arc Fire. Yeah, right now, um, Milk is just playing keep away. He does not want to get hit. Any, any 11 hit right now is, yeah. Any lemon hit right now is death. 
And the way Arcfire works in this game, it works closely more to the way um, the way you uh, was it L Thunder? Was it which Thunder was it? Arc Thunder? I think Arc Thunder. Let's say Arc Thunder. How Arc, Arc Thunder worked in Smash Four, where it holds you in place and um, Robin can get a follow up off of it. So. Yeah, man. So, uh, good stuff by uh, Jewel. So, let's see what stage we're going to Let's see what stage Milk is going to take them to. Yeah, and we're going into Smash Bros. Okay, yeah, up tilt. Up tilt anti air coming from Jewel. And that's the thing about Robin, man. It's like, Robin has really strong disjoints as a character. And I feel like most people see her as mostly a projectile character, but in, in reality, like, Robin has some devastating sword attacks and some pretty good range. Um, it's just that the range is on a, on a time limit because of the 11 sword timer. But, I mean, besides that, like, the sword is really good. And right now, you know, and it just seems like every time Jewel doesn't have the Loving Sword, he's just playing keep away, he's just biding his time. It's almost like how Wario charges his waft, you know, while running away and biding time. And did not have the bike at his disposal because the bike is still on stage. Yeah, getting that confirmed, um, I, I'm pretty sure that was a half waft. So down air and a half waft is true, and it can kill, you know, generally early at about 80% on most characters, most of the good characters. So, yo, know, good stuff on you. Yeah. yeah. Jewel, you know, attacking aggressively off the ledge again. And doing standard get up into the bite will never work out for you, you will always lose. Ooh, doing the up throw into the bite. And then bite, yes, and the bite kills. I don't know how many times I've said that. <laughs> the bite definitely kills. Okay. You know, break it off me by Jewel. You know, get it. He's playing it off me with the jab. Yeah, and the ledge play, man. Just the, you know, the ledge play that um, that Robin can can really do when it comes to the arc uh, arc, thunder, arc fire, excuse me. Great mix-up potential. But right now, Milk doing his best job at keeping drawing a disadvantage. Ooh, okay, try to do forward air as shield. Okay, yeah, the upbeat doesn't have great knockback at times. It can send you in weird directions. And that back air just went through everything. Okay. So good stuff by Jewel. By stuffing out that bike with his back air. Okay, forward tilt. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, racking up damage really fast is Jewel. Now, and Levin Sword is on deck, so right now he's in danger of dying from something. Oh man! And you know, I respect that attempt from Milk. The Milk really letting this get away from him. Ooh, and the forward smash! The clutch forward smash coming out from Milk, man. Yes. Um. Yeah. So good, you know, good stuff coming out from, you know, Milk clutching that out because Jewel was on his heels. Jewel was doing a great job. He's right. He racked up 100% in like 30 seconds, man. Stop the battle. Robin, 
So right now, um, so right now we're going back to PS2 where we first started. No DSR over here, you know. We believe in that nonsense. So, um, going right back in the PS2, and Milk off to a much better start than he was in previous games. Because Jewel carried a lot of momentum, even going into game two. Um, so let's see. So let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, spit. Um, miss space in that arc fire. Yeah, good, good, good job at reading that jump. The thing about Jewel is that Jewel has been jumping a lot off the ledge. So that's probably the first time you read that option. That was great Nosferatu, just regaining a little bit of that percent. <laughs> it was a little, a little funny how he just walked that bike over. And that back air pretty much is going through everything. I think he dropped the, I think um, Robin dropped the Leaven Sword after one of the Leaven Sword attacks and still went through all of that the back air. So right now, you know, Milk had a pretty, pretty good, um, a pretty good lead. You know, let's see if he could, um, maybe take his lead a little bit farther. But right now, he got the Nair into double up air, quick 34%. Ooh, we try to get the Arc Thunder and Arc Fire, and probably Eleven Sword up smash. So, good attempt by Jewel. Yeah. Up tilt and a half block is also a true thing. That would have been crazy. Uh, I want to say that was bad DI, because he went straight to the left, but uh, I don't know. Either way, you know, good stuff by Jewel. And Jewel, once again, on the attack, once the 11 turn is out, it's time to play the game, man. That huge, huge, devastating disjoint. And just like that, a quick 79% by Jewel, man. Jewel just, just does a great job at managing his resources. And when, when and he knows when to play the keep away game and when he knows when to go in. But right now, Milk once again on the offensive. Doing the back throw, probably doing the back throw, pushing back to the side of the bike so you get a, a better um, get better ledge pressure. And that was a great parry coming out from Milk. Because if he hit back if he hit the backer on a shield, it would have been safe and Jewel probably could have gotten out of disadvantage. So right now, Milk sitting at 105%. Jewel can still take the stock. Okay, Eleven Sword's gone. So let's see how we can take that stock now. Eleven Sword's gone. Okay, quick 58%. Got the quick combo and the frame track into a regrab. Yeah, Milk is running away with it. A couple of these misspaced arc fires I've been seeing coming out of Jewel. Okay, and great forward air off of the ledge. Just to get milk away from him. Okay. Okay. Good recovery coming coming out from Jewel. Not getting to NC, and that was a great. That was actually a great air dodge coming out from Jewel. Just getting back to center stage. Just trying to reset neutral a little bit. He's at, he's at 124 percent, and he just landed and did it. Ooh, that was a ooh, that was a good power. That, that, was, that was a good power. I heard that from him. Yeah, man, good stuff. Um, and yes, I agree. Um, do not get hit.